Nicki Minaj and Barb's have been under fire for a few days about Nicki Minaj's tweets and the allegations made against Nicki Minaj's husband. Plus, let's talk about how the armies were acting at the airport when BTS landed in New York the other day, or two days ago, depending on how, when you guys are watching this. Hey guys, this is TNT, the show where you can get the latest news about the hottest celebs, plus a little bit about what's going on in the world. If you are new here, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. If you guys have any other topics that you'd like for me to talk about, let me know, comment down below, and let's get right into the video. So by now, if you're a Barb or just in the Stan community, you know that uh, the Barb's and Nicki Minaj has been under a lot of fire for her recent tweets about COVID. Here's those tweets. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bullied. And this is her replying to a tweet. She says, I know, babe, a lot of countries won't let people work without the vaccine. I definitely recommend they get the vaccine. They have to feed their families. I'm sure I'll be vaccinated as well because I have to go on tour, etc. So she's most likely going to get the vaccine. Now, we all know that the topic of COVID is very, it's, it's, it's a big topic that many people have different conspiracies and opinions on. And it's just a topic where you have to be very careful with what you say and what you're trying to imply. Especially when you're a celebrity who has influence, some people can take things the wrong way. Even when, whether you say it in a good way or not, people are bound to flip what you say. But you just have to be very careful when talking about these subjects. A lot of people felt like she was trying to imply that uh, COVID causes these type of side effects. Some people were saying, oh, y'all are just upset because she wants to do some research and she's not completely trusting the vaccine and what the scientists are saying that she wants to, you know, take it into her own hands and uh, research on it more. And so it's just been a back and forth, back and forth between the Barb's and basically everybody else. It's fandoms, scientists, just all these different people, people on the new CNN. So she's just been under a lot of fire lately. Oh, he's fine. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles who are swollen from taking the vax. That's the claim. But it's not anything to do with the physical effect of the vaccine that makes our political class mad. It's the last part of Nicki Minaj's tweet that enrages them. The part where she says you should prey on it, make the decision yourself like a free human being and quote, don't be bullied. So our media and public health officials didn't like this because they make their livings bullying people. So they couldn't let it stand. So then this tweet spreads like crazy. Everybody's posting it, which has to be great news for Nikki's friend's cousin. Poor guy's <laughs> sitting at home on his couch, TV dinner resting on his nuts, and now he has, now he's famous. Who knew testicle inflation was a side effect of COVID? I, Nikki, meanwhile, lashed out at the coverage of her tweet. She was mad. She wrote three lies in a row from huge news platforms. I cited my young child as why I didn't want to travel, but notice how none of them mentioned that. Ask yourself why that was. <laughs> Maybe because we got distracted by your cousin's friend's hippo balls? <laughs> but this actually gives us a chance to talk about something that it actually is important. Nikki's cousin's friend got the COVID vaccine. Then his testicles swelled up. But that doesn't mean his testicles swelled up because he got the COVID vaccine. If you get the vaccine, then you fall in a manhole. Doesn't mean Moderna causes manhole accidents. <laughs> but when two things happen close together, we tend to see them as connected. And for this friend of Nikki's cousin, I hate to say it, but if your testicles swell up that big, the question isn't, did you get a vaccine recently? It's what have you been doing to your balls? <laughs> and, by the way, if anyone could track down this friend of Nikki's cousin, I would really like to talk to him. I have questions. Rapper Nicki Minaj <laughs> says that her cousin's friend, and she put this on social media, she has 22 million followers. She said he has swollen testicles after taking the vaccine. She cited that actually as one of the reasons 
that she has yet to be vaccinated. And she goes on to say his friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. And then if that wasn't enough, there has still been a lot of talk about the allegations made against her husband. Here are some videos so y'all can watch about it. They explain it the best. They go into more depth about it. But basically people feel like Nicki Minaj was just trying to use this whole COVID situation as a way to distract from the fact that they're still dealing with her husband's allegations because apparently he had failed to register himself as a SO. I can't really say it on YouTube. He failed to register himself as a SO in LA and that he's going to be going to jail, I believe, in January, in the beginning of January. And so they're trying to make it so that she can, I guess, drop the case or just say that she was lying, that the victim was lying so that this can just be dropped, but the victim does not want to do that. Because like, she was saying, like, what is what example does this show for my children, for her boy and her girls? Like, that's not a good example for them. And the thing is, if she still hasn't found peace about it, why does he get to have peace about it? Why does he get to live his life while she has to deal with all the trauma? If she has to deal with the trauma for the rest of her life, then he has to deal with this stuff for the rest of his life. It's kind of what he deserves. But people were really dragging her because they felt like, again, she was trying to cover up the whole allegation thing with this the COVID tweets. Now onto the situation about the armies at the airport when BTS landed in New York. That was embarrassing, you guys. As an army, that was so, so embarrassing. And the fact that there are so many armies who are trying to defend the armies at the airport is very, very disappointing. First of all, we're in a, are y'all forgetting that we're in a pandemic? These, y'all are saying that you think that they don't care. Why do y'all think they wouldn't care? Do you think that Weverse wouldn't have put out that, that literally put out an announcement not to be there, not to do the things that y'all did, if they didn't care? Do y'all really think that they would cancel a whole tour if they didn't care? Do you think that they would wait to see armies for almost two years, for like a year and a half, if they didn't care? They do care, you just don't. 사실은 우리도 비행기를 타고 싶지만 이제 장거리 비행이나 단거리 비행을 할때 이제 저희가 타는 거를 이제 아시고 저희 앞자리나 옆자리에 이렇게 앉으시는 분들이 계신데 아무래도 저희가 그런 사적인 공간에서는 마음 놓고 편히 모셔서 음 약간 많이 불편했었어요 솔직하게는 안 그래 주셨으면 좋겠어요 네, 여기까지만 하겠습니다. 무섭죠. 네, 무섭습니다. 정말로. 조금 있네요. 잠시만요. 아, 파라치고 있어요? 네. 어떻게 없어요? 대단하다. 저희 흰색 봉고 참가. 아, 저 무섭다. 아, 봐봐. 이런 거 무섭다 했거든요. <웃음> 이'll really are showing your lack of respect and how y'all really do not care about your faves comfort. Y'all are just being selfish and thinking about yourselves. Like BTS are human beings. Give them some space. And then y'all were using the excuse of, "Oh, well the workers are recording too." That's even worse cuz they're not even doing their job or staying professional. They weren't supposed to just be recording them. They're supposed to be keeping y'all crazy selves away from them. And the thing is, I saw someone in my comment section saying, oh, well, it's not causing any harm and this is, this is just normal. First of all, just because it happens a lot does not mean that it is okay. And to say that there's no harm that's happening, let me tell you about the harm. You remember that time when one of the members had gotten into a car crash because of the fans? Was that not causing harm? Is it not causing harm when all the armies are being shoved into the ground and shoved into the trash can because they're getting too close to the BTS members? That's literally getting armies, oh wait, not armies, saucings in harm. They're literally getting hurt. And not only that, I feel like it's very disrespectful to the other people who are just at the airport to 
get to their next flight or to meet someone who's coming back, those people can be put in danger as well. So it's not even just about BTS, it's also about the other people who are here for other reasons at the airport. It's also about BTS's staff and the workers who just don't seem to care. Like it's just so many different things and y'all are just saying, who cares? It, it's Again, it's not just about BTS, it's about everyone else who's there as well. And you can't just say that they don't care. Y like y'all are really being very, very, very selfish. BTS have literally done everything in their power to try and stop the spread of COVID, but y'all are just doing all of this and it was just, it's just been very, very embarrassing. A lot of armies on Twitter and TikTok have sh expressed how embarrassed they feel and even some other fandoms are saying that, you know, they feel embarrassed for us as well. And yeah, it's just really sad how some of y'all are just trying to brush it off or say, oh, who cares? We care, we do care. And the fact that y'all are saying, oh, well, why are you, someone in my comment section was really like, oh, stop trying to be the spokesperson for BTS, hun. Do BTS really have to tell y'all themselves not to follow them, not to track their airplane, not to follow them back home, not to dox and post their address where they're staying on the internet for y'all to know that that is not right? Do they have to tell y'all not to stalk them, not to put their address online for some crazy person to find for y'all to know that is wrong, that they wouldn't want that? Would you like that? Question, would you really like that? And I'm, I'm pretty sure you would not. So why do you think that they would? They're normal human beings. Like, please just stop. It's very, very embarrassing. And I don't want everyone or BTS to think that that is how we are. We do not need saucings in our fandom. Okay, so this is the next day when BTS had gave their speech at the UN. And I had woke up seeing even more pictures and videos that ARMYs had took of BTS invading their privacy. And ARMY had posted a video to YouTube, basically I think seeing BTS at their hotel and apparently some guy tried to run up on BTS. No, 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 we're, not, we're giving space, promise. Oh, but it's okay. It's okay. JK! JK! Then I saw videos that the Taekookers made, basically overanalyzing Jungkook and Young being in the same car together, basically meaning that they're in love or something. But like for real, it's just so embarrassing. And to the army in that video, being like, oh, it's okay, we're not gonna go over there. You're getting too close. You're getting way too close to them. Literally, you can see when the security guard ha were walking towards BTS, she literally got closer to them. Like, this is literally just the most embarrassing thing. And then to top that off, ARMY embarrassed us again in that live chat where they were basically spamming things like, where's BTS? And even after BTS were done with their speech and performing, they were still spamming comments that were about BTS when this is a whole ceremony that's not just about BTS. Like, how are you going to make comments about BTS for the entire ceremony when their part is up? Please show respect to everyone who was involved in the whole ceremony. It's just so sad because BTS have been waiting a while to see us and the first time that they're seeing us, everyone's acting a fool. And everyone is just wanting BTS to get back to Korea quickly because we don't want them to deal with any more of the bull crap. But anyways... If you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think about this whole topic. Let me know how you feel about Nicki Minaj. I know that there are a lot of people who are feeling disappointed in her and disappointed in the husband. Let me know what you think about the army saucings and just about this whole situation. It's, it's just very embarrassing, y'all. But yeah, make sure you comment that down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.